This is not a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's a real drone flying a real package right here in India. This is Sky Air, an Indian drone delivery company currently operating in Gurugram with minor operations in Bengaluru. This is a made in India drone with major components imported from Europe and Taiwan. In India, drones can't just take to the skies freely. They have to follow strict rules laid down by the DGCA. The company complies with all of these rules. It operates within the approved 120 meters altitude ceiling, uses unmanned aerial vehicle traffic management systems to stay coordinated with airspace regulators and connects in real time to a ground control station through a secure 5G network. With every flight logged and monitored, it's not just smart, it's completely compliant. Okay, so let me tell you a bit about this marvel of engineering. As you can see, six propellers that help the drone lift off from the ground and basically go anywhere it wants. Now, there is a lot of tech on this machine. So, uh, it basically helps it detect obstacles so that it doesn't run into buildings. And also, it is connected. So, the engineers who are piloting this machine have sensors on board. So, that it is connected to a server, it knows where the location of the drone is. So all of it, all this tech connectivity is right here on the drone. Uh, let's talk a bit about the payload. How heavy is this? Around 19 to 20 kilograms, the total weight of the drone. And the payload it can take is around 5 kilograms. But remember, there is a procedure. When the package arrives at the warehouse, it needs to be loaded onto the drone. How that happens? Let me show you. The process begins at hubs like these, where packages are scanned, packed and loaded into the drone with precision. Since the packages vary in size, the engineers must be careful in tethering them to the drone. The rope is controlled using a motorized mechanism which lowers packages when they reach their destination. Sensors like lidars, terrain trackers and proximity alerts help map the safest and fastest flight path. And it's not flying blind. A custom-built Sky Connect device keeps it plugged into the 5G cloud, continuously talking to a ground control station and an AI-powered platform that ensures every turn, hover and landing is sharp and secure. It's powered by a swappable battery pack that takes one hour to charge and lasts 30 minutes on a full charge. But to see how fast it really is in delivering packages, I thought, why not put it to a speed test again? Alright, so now that we have shown you what exactly happens with the tech, you must be wondering, what is a motorcycle doing in a tech show? Well, this is for your cinematic pleasure. Today, we are going to have a very special race. It's a man against the machine, a race between Cyrus and the drone. I understand the drone obviously has the aerial advantage, but how fast can I really go? How fast can I reach the destination? Let's check it out. A full-on race between Cyrus and the drone. Let's go. Understand that the drone clearly has an aerial advantage while I have to deal with red lights and traffic. With a speed of 40 km per hour, a range of 30 km and the ability to cruise at 120 meters above the ground, the drone races away. By the time I reached halfway, it was already delivering the goods to the pods at the designated location. In a country where speed is a luxury, drones may soon become the fastest couriers in the business. Oh, it is a hot day, but yeah, I could figure that the drone would reach before me. It's already shut down. My body is about to shut down, but I hope you enjoyed this segment. You understood what the future of delivery is going to be like. And I'm sure that people are going to enjoy something like this happening in the future. I lost the race, but I witnessed the future. This is not just a tech demo. It's a glimpse into the future of mobility. 
Drones are already changing how we think about logistics. From rural medical deliveries in third world countries to fast food drops in the UAE and pharmacy runs in the US, sky-based supply chains are quietly rewriting the rules. And now, India is joining the league. As this tech scales from Gurugram to Bengaluru, we are looking at a future where highways won't be on roads, but above them. Because mobility isn't just evolving, it's taking off.